So let's see what, what happens when we start mucking around with these numbers. We'll go 67, uh, 55 here. We'll have one big one, you know, like 97 or something like that. Uh, we'll have one. Uh, we'll say just about break even, and then another one. And, and of course, let's assume that we're making money on all these. We don't need to. We don't need to go completely doomsday. Uh, and another one, uh, whatever, 45. Okay, so what have I done here? Again, we have six systems, or we find out that we have six different mistakes that we're making, or six different trading styles, and uh, we're we're trying to figure out what's the worst that can happen. Okay, that's I think I think some of what uh, we experience as anxiety as traders is we don't know what's going to happen. So let's look at what can happen. Okay, and, and, and let's look at that. What's the worst that can happen? Um, well, these are pretty bad numbers, I think you would agree. I mean, these are really low over here. These numbers are really low, and this is pretty high. So, what's the worst that can happen? Well, if we put a dollar in, we can expect to make a dollar and eleven cents. Yes, we do have a couple of these that are negative, but you can see the others will make up for it. Now, what you can also notice is that the one big winner makes up the most of this, okay? And you've got to watch out for that. You've got to you've got to look for that. It's not a bad thing. I'm just saying you've got to watch for that. Um, most of the professional trend following firms, in particular, will make their money off of their 80/20. 20 percent of their trades will make 80 percent of their profit. Your trading is more than likely not going to be different. Okay, so don't expect that all of these numbers are going to be high. I think you're, you're going to do yourself a disservice if you're placing numbers like 150 pips in there, 225, uh, 165, 452, 978, uh, and uh, you know 365. And then coming in and saying, "Holy cow! For every dollar I put in this bad boy, I'm going to make three dollars and seventy-two cents." I think that might be a uh, a little bit of mistaking, uh, stinking thinking, as I call it, mistaken thinking. Um, these numbers are are just way too high, uh, even even at these percentages. Okay, so again, you don't want to go overboard, but then again, you don't always want to look at the worst case scenario. Um, I would caution you to not make these numbers too big. 